Hello everyone, the weather forecasters promised us a very pleasant day for football and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and sharing duties with me today, Stuart Robson. And with kickoff just moments away, we really should be in for a magnificent occasion. It's Dinamo Zagreb and they take on Arsenal. Thanks Derek, as always, this should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium, we've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? The lineup then for the hosts. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. And so they start at 11 for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale. Granite Jacker plays alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And the main striker here is Edward Nketia. Well, this game should offer plenty. Arsenal get it going. And they'll get ready for the throw in. I must say, this looks promising. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Ball's gone. Interception to snuff out the danger. Albert Sambi Lokonga. And Ketia has it. Options in the middle. Granite Jacker. They really look after. And the keeper getting across to stop it. taken short well time just challenged magnificently superb effort to keep it in Ariana Demi Bruno Petkovic not a good pass Bukayo Saka. Well, possibilities inside the box. Real chance. What a save. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Well, the keeper's made a good save. But... Well, a badly timed run. Just a fraction offside. Martin Odegaard, Albert Sambi Lokonga. It's with Odegaard, Cedric, Martin Odegaard going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Ariana Demi, promising attack this. 
And let's give credit to the defending. Nkesia. Bukayo Saka. Here's Cedric. Granite Jacker. Well, they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Keen to take it short here. Nketia giving it a try oh a tremendous block Stefan Ristovsky and a creative look about this Mislav Orsic He's got to score! And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Well, as we can see, Arsenal have dominated the ball in the last 15 minutes and have looked great going forward. They just need to take one of the chances they've created to get themselves ahead today. Cedric... Saka, well offside anyway, albeit a tight one. Under pressure, doesn't seem to bring him. And that's an important intervention. Ariana Demi. The first half here comes to an end. And I think it's fair to say he's had happier days in front of goal, Stuart. Well, the touch map tells us everything. He just hasn't been able to get on the ball in dangerous positions. Yes, he's been well marked, but he has to do a lot more to find space, I think. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Nuno Tavares. Xhaka. Couldn't hang on to it. Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. Nicely cut out. Saka. Here's Cedric. Albert Sambi Lokonga. Well, as you can see, Arsenal have had most of the ball. But with the talent they have on show here, the lack of quality in the attacking third has been a real disappointment. They need to play with more urgency to win this one. Luka Ivanushet. Useful looking ball. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. No problems for the keeper. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. Cedric. Well, the clearance half-hearted. Might really be able to trouble them here. But really sticking to the task defensively. Ariana Demi. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Bukayo Saka 
Martin Odegaard. Now moving the ball impressively here. Gabriel. Ben White. Granit Xhaka. Just cutting off the supply. Just not looking confident in possession. And into the last 15 minutes of action. And Kessia. And he's taken it away. Nuno Tavares. Arsenal remain on the front foot. Can they find a winning goal? And let's give credit to the defending. Well, the atmosphere is so tense inside this stadium. But can they find that moment of magic to win this game? The crowd certainly thinks so. Just listen to them. Well, you've got to keep the ball a bit better than that. Lauritsen. Moving it forward. Crossing possibilities. Mislav Orsic. Careless in possession. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Martin Odegaard. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. And Kessia. And the whistle is sounded, and these two teams are locked together. And this will test the mentality of any footballer. And he's denied them from the spot. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Mental preparation is such a big part of this. And the keeper denies them from the spot. And the keeper taking care of the situation. And up he comes, doing his best to remain focused. Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. And he's beaten the keeper. Well, no guile there. It all falls on his shoulders. If he scores, they win. And just like that, he's come up with the save. Such high levels of pressure. He must score to keep his side in it. Oh, he saved it. It's all over now. Well, that's a decent save, isn't it? He read the penalty and then was good enough to keep it out. What a finish to this match.